What are some very creepy facts? The Colombian serial killer Pedro Alonso Lopez, who is known as the Monster of the Ants, raped and murdered over 300 girls from Ecuador, Peru and Colombia. However, after he was caught and imprisoned for 18 years, he was put in a psychiatric hospital. There he was reviewed, declared to be sane, and was set free, in spite of his blatant avowal that he fully intends to kill again. Since he was released in 1998, nobody knows where he is or what has doing. He is supposed to be 71 years old at present. He is known for being the most prolific killer ever. If you get a blood transfusion and get the wrong type of blood, A, B, O, Ab, one of the symptoms is a sense of impending doom. There is a genetic disease called fibra dysplasia ossificans progressiva. When tissue is damaged, it is replaced with bone. Growths form underneath their skin and their joints lock solid. So over time those affected slowly become encased in a prison of bone just beneath their own skin. They usually have to choose between sitting or standing up for the rest of their life. By the end of their life they have to drink every meal through a straw and can barely move. Over 90% of serial killers choose their victims through sexual desire. In fact, many serial killers have been caught because they return to the body of their victims to masturbate. Bacteria and viruses can be frozen for millions of years and still be viably infectious, and having never encountered humanity before, could have no end of catastrophic results should they be uncovered and manage to infect a person or animal. Not to worry though. It's not like millions of ancient pathogens are currently trapped in permafrost which is now melting bit by bit each and every day. Humans eyes don't reflect light at night like animals do. I like to say this fact to my wife at a campfire. Your eyes have a separate immune system from the rest of your body. If they get damaged in such a way that it affects anything other than your eyes, your regular immune system can attack the damage and will not recognize them. Meaning your own body can permanently blind you. What's worse, your body cannot tell the difference between either eye. If one of them gets infected or damaged, your immune system can attack your healthy eye and take away your sight entirely. Rosemary Kennedy was JFK's sister. She suffered from oxygen deprivation at birth and that unfortunately stunted her mental growth. She had a pretty decent childhood. But as she grew older she began to act out. Afraid that her behavior would risk his political career, her father, Joseph, agreed to have her lobotomized. Her mother, Rose, was against it and forbade him from doing it. So he did it behind her back when she went on a trip. After the operation, Rosemary's already low IQ was lowered even further, to the point she could no longer walk or communicate. Her family had her locked up in an institution and basically disowned her. They never visited and never publicly acknowledged her anymore. Rosemary died at the age of 86. Her mother never forgave her husband for what he had done. Remember that bath salts cannibal guy from a couple years back? He wasn't high on bath salts when he did that. That was just media speculation and bullshit. They only found pot in his system during the autopsy. We still have no idea why he flipped out. The Changkiri tree is a tree in the Cambodian killing fields against which babies and small children were bashed after their parents had been killed. The men of the ship Essex, the true event that inspires the story Moby Dick, avoided islands after being shipwrecked for fear of cannibals. The islands were settled and landing there would have brought salvation to the survivors. Ironically because of this bypass, the men ran out of food and were forced to eat each other for survival. Cannibals find the palm of the hand the tastiest. After raping his blindfolded victims, the Golden State Killer would be super duper quiet and pretend like he was gone, and right when the poor victims would start to move towards the phone or try to untie themselves he would scare the ducking shit out to them. See cucumbers of teeth in their ass to prevent pill fish from sneaking in there and eating their balls. One reason that crows and ravens are associated with death is because they would often follow armies as they marched to battle. Being both carrion birds and extremely intelligent, they realized that a large group of armed men marching on one direction meant that there would be a tasty meal of corpses to eat soon afterwards. Crocodiles can gallop like a horse. I don't like knowing this, so I'm cursing you people with this knowledge as well. Fortunately alligators cannot.
Imagine being totally aware of someone performing CPR, but you physically can't move or respond. Well that's what happens when you get bitten by a blue ringed octopus. You have approximate 6 minutes between being bitten and someone starting CPR to keep your heart and lungs functioning to ensure you survive. All whilst being totally aware of what is happening to you. Neurotoxins are fun. The really creepy thing about this is one story of a guy who got stung. Got CPR performed on him and survived. But went blind because he was lying on his back. Eyes open. Unable to blink because of the paralysis. Starring into the sun. Imagine lying there. Unable to move. Unable to communicate. The sun slowly burning out your eyes and you can't shut them. Your brain can play tricks on you to make you see monsters in the mirror. Called the Troxler effect. The Troxler effect is an optical illusion that affects how you perceive things. Both visually and mentally. I once read that you should play dead if a bear attacks you. Unless they start licking your wounds. Because that means they plan to eat you. That still haunts me to this day. Edit, if it helps I'm pretty sure I was reading about grizzly bears at the time during one of my fevered grizzly man rabbit holes. The astronauts aboard the space shuttle Challenger most likely didn't die until they hit the water miles below the initial explosion. If the sun exploded right now, you would be blissfully unaware of it for just over 8 minutes while the energy travels at the speed of light to get to you. Since 1900, over 13. 000 people have been murdered by serial killers in the USA. Female mummies in ancient Egypt were always more decomposed than their male counterparts. They discovered that this was because male bodies were embalmed a lot sooner than female bodies. Female bodies were kept at the family home until they started to decompose in order to avoid necrophilia at the embalmers. There are upwards of 300 active serial killers in the world. A single tiger has killed over 436 people in India. There's a parasite that enters a fish's mouth, eats the tongue, and replaces itself as the fish's new tongue. According to Abe Lincoln's bodyguard crook, he said Lincoln had a dream about his own assassination three nights in a row before he was killed. Crook told Lincoln not to go on that fateful night, and all Lincoln said was goodbye. Crook before he went to the play. This was very odd as Lincoln always said, good night not goodbye. Hearing is the last thing to go after you die. You just might hear the paramedics and firefighters call off CPR. I bring this up at parties all the time. When climbing Mount Everest, there's a point nicknamed Rainbow Valley or Rainbow Ridge because it's absolutely littered with the bodies of people who attempted to make the climb. The combination of the extremely cold temperature and the bright now suits means that they've become a never rotting but colorful landmark. Bonus round, many of them died when other people were around. Two climbers sat with Sleeping Beauty as she succumbed to hypothermia to comfort her until they had to leave to save themselves. A climber died next to green boots while the trail was busy with other climbers as they either assumed he was resting and or was perhaps already dead. If you get hurt or otherwise start to die up there, others can't rescue you without likely getting themselves killed. Retrieving a corpse requires 6 to 8 Sherpas, assuming it hasn't become part of the mountain. Extra bonus, the climber who died because she spent 21 minutes celebrating reaching the top of the mountain. After getting stung by a cone snail, you don't feel the sting for a little bit. There is no antivenin, and it can be lethal. Treatment is basically keeping the victim alive until the venom wears off. CNN has had a pre-recorded broadcast from the 90s which they will premiere during the end of the world. People don't take their antimalarial drugs when they travel because they hear bad stories about the side effects and they see native people in the areas living okay without taking pills every day. The truth is. Populations native to malaria endemic areas have all passed through pretty intense natural selection for survival and have a host of genes that prevent them from dying or suffering the other worst effects. Also, most of the resistance is built up over time. This is why it's most common for children to die rather than adults. Whatever people have heard about the side effects of the antimalarials, getting it is so much worse. I, fortunately, have never had it. But I study it as part of my work and people have told me about having it. And they all say the same thing. It is so awful you can't believe you're even still alive. 
It comes in cycles, usually 48 hours, and each cycle is agonizing and brings you the brink of death. Sometimes it takes you, sometimes it spares you for another few hours until it starts again. And there are forms that, even if you clear the infection with drugs, it still remains dormant in your system and can come back at any time. Edit, I don't want to freak people out too much. There are drug combinations that can kill every stage of the parasite as long as there is no drug resistance. Pigs will eat anything. There are stories of pigs entering farmhouses and eating newborn humans. A black mamba is the fastest snake which can sliver at a speed of 12. 5 miles an hour, 20 km slash HR. They have neurotoxins which are fast acting. The venom shuts down the nervous system and paralyzes the victim. Its venom is able to kill 10 people and it repeatedly bites. To add on to this, there is an almost 100% kill rate and can kill in 20 minutes. If you begin to display symptoms of rabies you will go crazy and die. There's no cure. Your brain will slowly melt until you're dead. Serial killer Richard Chase took any unlocked door as an invitation to come inside. The reason dogs like squeaky toys is because the squeak reminds them of small animals dying. They used real corpses in the 1982 film Poltergeist. For the ending pool scene, the actress did not know until after the scene was filmed. Not just Poltergeist, but up until the last few decades actual skeletons and bodies were used in Hollywood production simply because it was cheaper than hiring prop guys to do it. Any old movie you watch, chances are the skeletons are real because you could saunter into any old medical supply store and buy a whole disused skeleton from a university medical department for a reasonable price. Cockroaches have been recorded eating human flesh, both living and dead, as well as fingernails, eyelashes, feet, and hands. The American cockroach and German cockroach are more likely to bite humans than other species. Pretty sure Australian cockroaches do something equally creepy. But as an Australian who plans to sleep at some point in the future, I'm not going to google it. Blobfish in its natural habitat looks like a normal fish. But it lives so deep underwater that it doesn't use a normal gas bladder to keep itself balanced. Instead, it has a spongy skin that is slightly less dense than water, which becomes damaged and bloated when fishermen bring it up too quickly. It's not really the ugliest fish. It has just experienced something worse than one of us being thrown into outer space. Between sea level and space, there's one atmospheric pressure of difference. Between sea level and 2000 feet underwater, their upper limit, there's 60 atmospheres of difference. Ducks become cannibals due to boredom. Of all ducking reasons, they can only be stopped by cutting off their mouths. Don't duck with ducks. Quack is whack. A Japanese secret human experimentation group called Unit 731 performed experiments on infants, children and adults without an aesthetic. They would cut out stomachs and reattach the oesophagus to the intestines. Remove limbs and see how long people would die from blood loss. Remove parts of livers, brains and other organs. They would expose people to diseases and then dissected them alive. In all an estimated half a million people were killed in these experiments. Unit 731 was given immunity from prosecution by the US government in order for the US to get access to the results of the experiments. Edit 1, to say that the above descriptions really only touch on the surface of the horrors that were performed by Unit 731. If you are squeamish I would not recommend reading into this any further. Edit 2, to join the dots. If you have ever accessed healthcare, much of what we know about how the body responds to different traumas came from these experiments. So, every time you are treated in a hospital you are indirectly benefiting from these experiments. Please subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more of Reddit Universe.